640, July 5th. Um, just getting out of uh, campsite. Uh, stayed at the shelter last night, did. Uh, just over 10 yesterday. Um, out of town. Some hard climbs and then thunderstorms rolled in. Um, so I just, I just decided to go ahead and just stay at that shelter. I could have pushed on a couple more miles and picked a stealth site somewhere, but um, I didn't really know what the rain situation was going to be like. And I don't know it. The way the, the way the miles work out, I'm going to do 14.5 today, and or we're planning to do 14.5 today. See how it goes, and then seven as a Nero into Stratton um, and get into a hostel there and resupply. So um, anyway, just kind of uh, taking it easy. Uh, just don't really have the recovery that I had before. Um, my legs are just kind of staying tired right now. But um, yeah, pushing through. Um, my situation is not dissimilar to others. Uh, there was a, a fella I camped with last night, started January 8th, um, goes by DoorDash. Uh, real nice guy, um, my age, uh, same situation. He's tired, <laughs> you know. Um, so anyway, uh, hoping for good weather today. It kind of looks good behind me. Um, so yeah, if I see anything, I'll show it to you. I'm gonna get my feet moving. Trail goes that way. Let's go! This is a view of Black Nubble Mountain. All right, I've got a little river ford to get across right here. Doesn't look too deep. I'm um, just gonna go kind of that way where it's running a little slower and back up on that bank. So I'm gonna put my phone away and get across. All right, made it up to Lone Mountain, and um, that was a nice little climb. I've got 2.2 to the Spalding Mountain lean-to. Um, it's 11 o'clock right now, so I'm gonna head there, grab some lunch. So, yeah, sunny, blue skies, it's not raining.
All right, lunchtime update. Um, I just stopped right here. There's this little sunny patch right here. Um, I just had lunch right here. Aired out my socks a little bit, took my shoes and socks off. Tried to dry them out a little bit from that uh, creek forward I had earlier. Um, I had checked and the Spalding Mountain lean-to is, it's a mile away, but it's like down in the forest. Um, so I knew I wasn't gonna have any sun and I had a little bit of sun right here, so anyway. Um, just had some lunch, uh, got my stuff packed back up, and I'm ready to go. Um, trail goes that way. Uh, if I see any views, I'll, I'll show them to you. Let's go. I'm on the peak of Spalding Mountain and I'm looking north. That's Sugarloaf Mountain right up ahead and that's the Crocker Mountains uh, back behind it. This is just a little blue blaze, blue blaze trail to get the peak of Spalding. Um, and I came up to bag that peak and also to get that view. So um, anyway, my head back down to the AT. That was the blue blaze up to the peak of Spalding Mountain. And now I'm back on the AT, headed this way. Let's go. So I'm back on trail, I'm headed down, and I got just a little view of the peak of Sugarloaf. I'll zoom in. That's it right up ahead. Um, I won't actually climb Sugarloaf. There's a Blue Blaze Trail where you could go over and climb it, um, but I, I don't think I'll be doing that. But I will be going over the crockers. Um, but I'm going to save those for tomorrow. <laughs> They're two, two 4,000 footers. So I'm basically going to camp um, kind of at the base of them tonight. So anyway, I'm going down. Put this camera away. Got to get my feet moving. Let's go. In honor of the men of the Civilian Conservation Corps, who from 1935 to 1939 contributed greatly to the completion of the Appalachian Trail in Maine, and who on August 14, 1937, near this spot, completed the final link of the entire 2,054-mile trail, dedicated August 14, 1987, by the volunteers of the Appalachian Trail Club. Of course, the trail's a little longer than that now, 2,198, but this is pretty cool. And the rock is really cool too. <laughs> Look at that moss. That's awesome. Neat. All right. Trail goes that way. Uh, yeah, I, I was just climbing, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. This is the Rapid Stream Valley, and Sugarloaf is 
right up there where those cell towers are. So this is the high water route. It's a blue blaze up to the summit of Sugarloaf. And then you take the road to the lodge and the road to highway, blah, 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 blah. Um, or you can go this way. And I've heard that the, the Ford is, is no problem. I just ran into two uh, or three Sobos and they said it was no problem getting across. So anyway, I am going that way. Yeah, I got a little emotional thinking about this, kind of leading up to it. Um, but yeah, here it is. It's 2,000. 2,000 miles. You know, I just walked them. <laughs> 2,000 miles, baby. Let's go. You know what we do. 2,000 miles not done yet put that pack on trail goes that way let's go Got a bridge, main style. Yeah, let's go. All right, <clears throat> this is where I'm going for the evening, and tomorrow. I'm headed to Main Highway 27 to go into town. But tonight, we can't. Let's go. All right, got my tent set up on the platform. Um, it's easier to set it up on the ground, but the ground's really still damp and wet still. So I just went and went on the platform. It keeps it cleaner. Um, I'm going to, and I got a clothesline hung. Well, can't really see that. <laughs> I'll show it later. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food. I actually had a request from somebody who wanted to know what I eat. Um, so I'm gonna prepare my famous double ramen Slim Jim for dinner coming up. So this is called a Cirque, <clears throat> C-I-R-Q-U-E. It's a glacial pond formed at the base of the mountains um, and those are the crockers uh, up above the crocker mountains um, I'll be climbing them tomorrow um, this is a good place to 
watch for moose in the evening and in the morning. Um, but there are mosquitoes <laughs> uh, attacking me as I film. So um, I'm probably gonna go back to my tent and get some sleep. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, but I don't see any moose. I'd like to see a moose for, from a safe distance. <laughs> All right, headed back to the tent.